Hey guys, it is me, Hypusarik, and welcome to Last and Earth Survival. So today we're gonna do the event, an event that I haven't done in a really long time, and that is this big hunt event. I've totally forgotten about this event. I don't think I've done this event in like in the past probably three months at least, if not even longer, maybe in half a year. I honestly can't remember when was the last time that I've even thought about this big hunt event and when I've done it. So today we're gonna check it out because in the past couple of updates, developers have changed the loot that we can get inside of the transport hub. Wait, not in the side of the transport hub, I mean the laboratory, right? Because now inside of the laboratory, we can get some different loot there. Needed to assemble some more things. So who knows? Maybe we can get now different loot here. Maybe this big hunt event now is a little bit better than it was before. I don't know. We'll have to go and check it out. We'll see how this event is going to be today. But before we do that, we'll have to go to the transport hub because I've already mentioned it. And yeah, transport hub is probably like the newest location added to the game. It's like probably a few months old already, a few weeks old, over a month old. So... We're definitely going to check it out. And uh, yeah, we also need to get there some more loot as inside of the transport hub, you always get kind of a bit different loot. You can also get some loot needed to progress further in the settlement or if you want guns, you can get guns there. So you know what? I do like the transport up and that's why we're gonna go there but hey, before we go there i'd love to say welcome welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream glad to see all of you here hello hello and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then you already know what to do hop to the pin comments down below there you'll find timestamps and you can navigate to those timestamps a little bit faster you can go to raids you can go to uh us opening up like whatever crates and other things because today we are also going to do a few raids just as usual we always try to do at least one raid during the live stream here so let's get here another set of armor. And hey, welcome once again to all those that are watching this live stream live. Glad to see all over here. Psych, do you recommend clearing the motel? I mean, if you like clearing the motel, you should clear it. You should absolutely do it. Okay, we have some more armor. So let's get rid of that armor. And gameplay all. Thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks, gameplay all. Thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome, welcome, mate. Hello, hello. I think I have a little bit too much armor, so how about I drop some of it back here in one of these chests, right? It'll be a bit better. Have you ever played Undawn? Is the survival game? Yes, uh, yesterday I posted an Undawn video. Uh, there might be more Undawn, we'll see. There will be part two. We'll see if there will be part three or part four. When will be day R survival video uploaded? In the next few days, there will be one more day R video. And there will be more scum survival, there will be more undone, there will be more everything and more last and earth free to play. So just buckle up, buckaroos. So there's that. Big hunt is garbage, says Saf Saf. Probably. I mean it was garbage, right? Like that event was pretty bad when when I used to do it. I mean I think I've done that event maybe like two or three times, I don't know. But I wanna try to do it again. Uh, let's go to the transport hub. The Undawn video was great. Please continue. I'll do perhaps more Undawn. We'll see. I mean, it will all depend from you guys. The first episode went well. So if if other episodes go like that, of course, there will be more Undawn. But we'll see. As long as, if you, as long as you guys want me to play Undawn, I'll keep making Undawn. So we'll see. Everything will depend from you, peeps. Uh, let's hop into this transport hub, though. And let's do it. Let's do it. It's like... I know, it's like a daily task for me. We have to clear that uh, transport up. And I did not get the drone. No! No, I did not get the drone. We could teleport to the base faster, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wait, if I die, will my body just spawn here at the, at the entrance? I think it spawns at the very entrance. Um, let's go for it. Hopefully the body spawns at the very entrance. That's it. I just want to teleport back to the base, ladies and gentlemen. I want to teleport. I want to teleport, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to teleport. Take off armor and die. Guys, don't worry. Like they, It's not like they'll break the entire armor. I've lost like a little bit of durability of it. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's get the drone because I keep forgetting it. I really keep forgetting about this drone. I don't get it. And why every survival game now has to have a drone? I don't get it. I also don't understand what's up with drones. Yo, Mystical, thanks for the super chat. Yes, I do remember you and I've already answered these, the same exact question last time. But remember me, I need help getting factory parts. What is the most efficient way? Not recycling guns. 
as I said already, there is no factory part factory, right? There you can't get factory parts easily. You either recycle them, which is one of the more efficient ways to do it. You either recycle full durability guns or you waste 10, 15 guns in the port location when there is laboratory events. So when you'll go to events here, there will be laboratory event. You'll clear that laboratory event. And yeah, for clearing the laboratory, you'll be able to get some factory parts. That's it. But for that, you'll also have to waste 10 to 20 guns. Th there is no cheap way. There is What's no other way to get me? I need help getting factory, factory parts. parts. What is the most efficient way? Not recycling guns. Say, so hopefully that answers your question. No, sir, it doesn't answer it. It has to answer your question because there is no other way to get them. It's not like, as I said, there is no place in this game that you can clear with a spear and get factory parts. You either recycle full durability guns or you clear the entire laboratory during the laboratory event and you'll be able to get like 10 to 20 factory parts and that's it. You can get one to five factory parts in sunken crates with 40 plus levels. You also need to, you can get that stuff there, but it's pretty hard to get it as you need to level up to, you need to level up those crates, but yeah, you can get that stuff there. If I'm also not mistaken, you can get some factory parts from Bunker Bravo, but like all of those things are extremely expensive. Like I'm sure maybe some of the other crates give those factory parts too, but they're like extremely expensive to get either way. Like those are the cheapest way to get them. If you need like, it depends how many factory parts you need. If you need like 10 factory parts, You'd be probably better off just recycling like 10 Glocks and that's it. If you're even gonna get 10 factory parts from 10 Glocks. But there's that. Okay, let's get that stuff. It's like, don't we get that stuff from PD? No, we don't. We have we don't get factory parts from police department in years. We used to get that stuff in years. A year a few years ago, but now we don't get it anymore. So there's that. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see you all over here. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, there's nothing here. There's nothing that we can pick up. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's open up another box here. Oh. Uh Oh, we got a little bit of glass. Whatever, let's get that glass. Let's get first aid kits. Can we get factory parts from the transport hub? Maybe. I don't know. Again, that would be very... It wouldn't be guaranteed to get those factory parts here. So you need to open up a special crate, and then from that special crate, you, you have to get lucky to get factory parts, if you even can get factory parts here, because I'm not even sure about it. Yo, Mystical, thanks for the super don't chat. Don't you think they should make the factory location drops factory parts? Wouldn't that just make sense? Uh, maybe. As I said, it doesn't really matter what I think. Just because I think we should have more factory parts doesn't mean we will get more factory parts. Yes, I think getting factory parts and carbon composites is pretty hard. So... Yeah, we should be getting more of them. But it is hard to get them. It is hard to get the factory parts. Oh lord. Oh lord, they'll spit on me. Okay, I dealt with another dude. Kind of want to avoid that spit. Okay, let's charge towards this guy. Okay, let's sort of deal with the smasher. And that is it. Now we can just deal with these acid melters. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely did it. Okay, so it looks like you can get factory parts from the transport hub. Okay. It is possible to get them then here. But yeah, you also have to get lucky and open up like a special crate. Biggest bottom like for mid game players, I believe. I believe getting factory parts and carbon composites is pretty hard to get. I believe that. I totally believe. Uh, let's deal with the toxic darters. Bye, schmucks. Goodbye. And Sai, gosh, thanks for the super chat. Hi, Sai, no backflip these days on stream. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, honestly, what kind of backflip? I have never backflipped in my entire life. I completely have no idea what's a backflip. I've never backflipped. But all jokes aside, we don't do that joke anymore. It's silly. So there's that. Okay, we have opened up one of the crates. Uh, I think there's one more crate up here, and I want to get it. I want to open it up. There we go. One more crate here. Do the finger trick instead. I mean, we could do the finger trick instead. I'm just not really sure if people can handle it, but 
There we go. There's the finger trick, ladies and gentlemen. So be very careful. Don't show that to anybody. And real uh, RY to dead. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome, mate. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining uh, the the membership. Thanks for smashing the join button. And uh, flammable. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome, flammable. Welcome, real RY to dead. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, how did you do that, Cyric? I have no idea how I did that. Honestly. I don't know. It's like, how many raids today? At least 20. At least 20, just for you, mate. At least 20 raids. At least, so it might be 50 raids. I don't know how many raids we'll do. Okay, there's the biker magazine. Let's get that. And perhaps we'll bring that stuff to Jennifer, because... Believe it or not... You obviously believe it, because you know it. But my bike is still not at max level. I still have a few levels to go to level up that bike, but it's kind of worthless. Like it's, it doesn't make much sense to level up that bike to, to a higher level. So that's why we haven't leveled it up yet. So there's that. Uh, the fiberglass. Oh lord, I forgot the weapon. Let's get it, let's deal with that explosive schmuck. And uh, let's try to go through here. I will open up that door and then I'll be able to deal with them probably outside. It'll be better. And candle is great. Thanks for for the super chat. You can buy them in the black market in the VIP. Yeah, I mean, when people ask me like to get some sort of certain resources, I'm not going to say, hey guys, you can get that stuff in the shop, right? Because most of the resources can be gotten in the shop. So telling them like, hey, buy those resources with real money is not something that I do here. I'm not incentivizing people to spend money on the game here. That's not my job. As I said, I'm not your financial advisor, so I can't tell anybody what to buy, what not to buy. So there's that. But yeah, maybe it is possible to buy them in the VIP section there. But yeah, I don't think that's really useful. To the person that asked that, but yeah. Did you kill the boss? No, we haven't killed the boss yet. But we are gonna kill the boss. There we go, we have dealt with these rad zombies. But yeah, Candle is great. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, let's get another broken Glock. Okay, let's break both of these weapons. Because why wouldn't we break them? Oh wow, that weapon had so much durability. It was kind of broken, but it worked for so long. We could deal with one more zombie here. That's kind of crazy. VAP is in the gas station. Yeah, yeah, I know that the VAP is in the gas station, but you need to, again, spend money in the game to get the VAP. So saying that, hey, you can buy that in the VAP is the same thing as buying items in the shop. I am aware that the VAP is in the in the gas station, but it's, it's pay to win. So if somebody asks a question, like, how do you get X and Y item? I'm not going to, to tell them pay to win ways of getting them because it's, it's lame. Butcher is annoying to kill. It is. He is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. It is fine. We will still destroy that butcher. I mean, so far we still have even a lot of armor. That's good, I guess. That is good. Maybe we won't even have to fight all of those zombies there. Wait. Usually I fight those... The hardest part about this entire laboratory is... Is is that place with the carrions. We could just avoid those carrions and that's it. Right? You forgot fiberglass. We have so much fiberglass in there. I left it for later. I'll take that fiberglass off camera, guys. I promise. But, yeah. Well, this Glock definitely has a lot less durability. Okay, let's deal with this schmuck. So yeah, Glocks have less durability than those... Uh, whatever those weapons are called. The Genesis weapons. You got the point. It's been a long time since I joined your live stream. Welcome, real RY to dead. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see you here. No worries, mate. It's all good. It's all fine. So 
So we have these carrions. We could just avoid them. Do we have to go and kill them? Wait, I'll just try to, let's say, leave this place and that's it because they do take a lot of weapons and uh, they are pretty tough. Maybe we can just leave this place and that's it. We don't really have to fight them. Like, that would be a tip and trick and I'm going to try to use it. That would be a tip and trick. If I ever make a video about the transport hub, that's probably what I'm going to share, that you don't have to fight those Scarians. I hope they introduce Genesis weapon mods. Maybe would be cool. I agree. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Sorry, I wanted 900 gold for Burglar 3 skill. Is it worth it? I totally don't understand that question. Maybe somebody can explain that in the comments. Maybe somebody can translate that comment into a human language. Because I wanted 900 gold for Burglar 3 skill. Is it worth it? I, I totally don't understand that. What do you mean you wanted 300, 900 gold for a Burglar 3 park? What? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Just climb up the ladder, they get stuck. Yeah, yeah, we can also climb up the ladder, but I'm here I'm testing out what happens if you just leave the place. We could just climb up the ladder, which that's what we will do. But at the same time, there is a chest that we can open up. Wait, what if I try to get the sneaking? Oh no, they still see you. Okay, so you can't really sneak through this place. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, let's go up. So we can't really open up these crates down there. That's the thing. That is the problem. We can't open up those crates. And they can sometimes have nice loot. Sometimes they have nice loot, sometimes they have bad loot. Translation, I wasted 900 gold for burglar level 3 skill. Was it worth it? I mean, you just said yourself that you wasted 900 gold, so was it worth it? You just, I think you just answered your own question. I mean, it depends. If you wanted to get it, you wanted to get it. If you had spare gold, you had spare gold. I mean, only you can decide if it was a waste or not. Pink lights are the best. I mean, currently we have red lights. Perhaps pink lights will come back one day. Perhaps, perhaps. Ooh, anti-rads. Ooh, ooh, my favorite. Let's get those anti-rads. And that is it. Now we have to leave this place, but they just got stuck here. So, that is actually stupid to go up here. I'm telling you. It would be awesome if I could drop grenades down there. That would be amazing. Okay, let's eat some bandages. Go, 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 idiot. Whatever, I'll just probably deal with these scarions. Wait, are both of them stuck? No, there's just one. I'll whip out the drone. I mean, we can tell the drone to... You have to stop in one spot to drop it in one place. And I just died because of the stupid drone! I hate it! It's stupid! Why can't I tell it to... To move when I'm running? You have to stop in one place. To move that drone around and tell it to stay in one place and shoot instead of just chasing me. It doesn't work, stupid drone. And I couldn't heal when I was moving that thing. It didn't allow me. So stupid. Psych, but drones are the best. Don't talk about drones here. We don't talk about drones. That's it. Take the drone. Oh yeah, of course that we have to take the drone now because we died. Of course it teleports back to the charging station. <sighs> Can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. I want to know at least if there is a single person in the chat that has died the same exact way when you tried to move your drone and that's it. Take the time to read this. When Butcher falls below 1000 HP, I've already read that, mate. I have already read this last time when you told me to take my time to read this. I've already read that, mate. How many times do I have to read this? But yeah, I will check this out now. Okay, I will maybe check that out if that's... But is it really a good strategy? You'll just have to stay in one spot and soak up lots of damage from him. I don't really know if that's a good uh, strat. Basically, if when the Butcher's health drops below 1,000, you just stay there and soak out all the damage. You have to stay still and soak up all the damage from the Butcher, and then the Butcher will keep punching you, but he won't run after those turkeys, but it's stupid. I actually don't want to do it. We 
You should try it and do it for the sakes of education. Maybe. Maybe. But honestly, I, I don't like that thing. Maybe I'll do it once. We'll see how it works. But honestly, it's pretty boring just to stay in one spot and, like, hold the gun. Like, that, that's the worst part about Last and Earth and those bosses where you just have to stay in one spot and just hold lock and hold your attack button. Please read this. I got uh, the ATV transmission from 100 caps. Oh, wow, you wasted 100 caps on an ATV transmission. That's crazy, bro. I've gotten it from 10 caps or something. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky next time. I've gotten it from 3 caps, bro. Please read this. <laughs> Whatever, let's get the guns. And uh, let's finish this place. Dude, I only have a few guns. Will that be enough for the bosses? I mean, I have no idea. I usually take less and less weapons. But this time it might actually not be enough. I agree it's not fun, but it's cheaper. Is it actually cheaper? You waste more meds. It's not actually cheaper. So, in my opinion, it's not actually cheaper. Like, if you stay in one spot, the dude's gonna attack you more. So you will waste more meds. And I always said that it's a lot easier to get guns than meds. Unless you have more meds, then I don't know how you're playing. Then I don't know how you have more meds. Why am I here? Can someone explain to me? Why am I on this side? I have no idea why am I here. I don't understand that. Okay, let's go lower. Okay, the door was open, so I didn't have to go anywhere. Okay, that's it. We got all of them. Now let's deal with those parasites. And let's open up some of the crates. I have more meds than guns, so that's not true. I'm not saying that it's either true or not. I guess it depends on the way you play it. I mean, you should have more meds than you, you have guns. I mean, I have no idea how you're playing the game then. You shouldn't waste your guns. It also depends on the amount of time you play. If you play, let's say, an hour a day, you're not going to have enough meds. Right? If you play for quite a bit. If you play, like, only for a bit a day, you won't really have enough meds. I have over 800 meds and, like, 10 guns. Yikes. Maybe. But at the same time, again, guys, as I said many times, like, you, you guys have to use your own brain. I can't do everything for you. I can't, guys, hold your hand and tell you how to play the game. If you guys have more guns than medkits, then use your guns. If you have more medkits than guns, save up those guns and use more medkits. It's pretty simple. It's not rocket science. For me, I just know that it's a lot easier to get guns than medkits. So I will always suggest people to probably save their meds. And blast a gun here and there, but if it's the opposite for you, then do the opposite. It's all fine. It is all fine, ladies and gents. There is no right or wrong way to play last on Earth. If you feel like you need to soak up lots of damage and that's it. It also depends on the amount of raids you do. Some people will raid often, some people won't raid often, and if you don't really raid often, it's gonna be hard to get meds. If you raid a lot, then of course you'll have probably more meds. I don't know, bandages left the chat. I mean, also, like, how many bandages will you have? As I said, it also depends on a lot of factors. One man's garbage, another man's treasure. Like, on my free-to-play account, I'm, not, I'm never gonna have enough meds, because for that I'd have to farm, I'd have to play the game a lot there. And I'm not gonna do that. Free-to-play was never about me farming. Free to play was getting rich with doing nothing. And that's what we do in free to play. We clear bunker alpha and you get rich. That's it. If you want to farm, I mean, you know how to farm green zones. I don't have to show you how to farm those green zones. Try the trick for the for the peeps to see. Maybe. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I won't try it. Can't promise anything. 
from it promise anything um let's get this and this is that gonna be the boss maybe if that's even the butcher again maybe that'll be just the miner maybe maybe that won't be the butcher Okay, that's just a pest. Okay, so it's the second time when I get this pest. Last time I got that pest, it escaped. Do not escape, schmuck! Okay, just escape. Now we'll have to wait until that pest appears from somewhere else. Okay. Okay, we'll see what that pest drops. We will see. It's kind of weird that we get no loot here. Pull pest control. There we go, we did it. Destroy that dude. Interesting shadow. Oh yeah, true. We get those data disks and some first aid kits and other stuff. Alrighty. But also when the when the dude's health drops below 1,000 and I have to stay there in one spot, do I have to kill the turkeys? Because if I don't kill the turkeys, they'll keep stunning me. I think I have to leave, but I still think I have to leave some of the turkeys, though. Gunpowder. I mean, this armor is about to break, so perhaps let's get another armor just so that I have more space to take uh, to take some more loot. Okay, let's get that. So I've looted this, I've looted that crate, and we have the crate at the bottom. Let's get ready. If it's the butcher or the miner, whatever. Okay, that's the miner. Okay, so we can't do anything. That's not the butcher. We can't use that strat here then. We have to deal with the miner. Should go towards the exit of the map. Okay. Perhaps. I don't have the sprinting skill. I should have gotten the sprinting skill for this dude, but whatever. Also, I want to get my bandages for the miner. Um, bandages, dude. Got only five of them. Excuse me. I mean, it's gonna be pretty hard because I didn't get enough Genesis weapons, only got three of them. And I already used up most of my Genesis weapons. So, that is a little bit weird. Oh wow, the guy still reached me. Excuse me. Let's hit another Genesis weapon, just broke. And I don't think I've got uh, any shotguns with me. Um, I have only a unmodded shotgun. Well, I'll have to use that one. I'll have to use my M16s and unmodded shotguns. That's what I'll do then. Imagine Genesis weapons had mods. Okay, so you're the second person that talks about mods on Genesis weapons today. But yeah, a lot of people have spoken about mods on Genesis weapons. Who knows, maybe one day we will get that, perhaps. Fight down the truck. It's actually fine to fight it here. Okay, how much damage do we do with the shotgun now? Do we still do 25? No, now we do only 18. This is a pretty nice spot as you can avoid that huge attack where he stuns you. Look at this, sometimes he just gets glued to you and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Okay, it took me a while to be able to heal, that's stupid. Oh my goodness, again, he's glued to me. A thousand health and we only have a shotty left. We have AKs obviously. We could blast this dude with AKs. That's not the point. Oh 
overload. Okay, let's get another. Oh no, I got stunned still! There was a pixel! I got stunned with one pixel. At least if I had Glocks, because here using a shotgun is pretty stupid. Especially unmodded shotgun. Yeah, having Genesis weapons on this dude it would be a lot better. But even AK is kind of useless. With M16, we were doing how much damage? Three damage. With AK, we do only four, so it's better to probably use your M16s on this miner. I swear these bosses all look the same. You wouldn't be wrong, man. And welcome to the stream, insane. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we only have four bandages. Hopefully, that'll be enough to deal with this dude. Okay, the guy has only 154 health. 110. We have two more bandages. And this is the dude's dead. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Leg shot is the best for the miner. Yeah, if you have the leg shot. Uh, okay, that's it. I think we've cleared everything. We have cleared this entire place. That is it. Time for us to go and open up the loot. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just want to loot this thing if I haven't looted it yet. Okay, so we have... Looted that thing as well. We have their broken SWAT armor, but we, will, but we already have like five racks of armor at the base, so that's fine. We can leave it there. Fate guided me to click the live stream. It was destiny, says insane. I agree. Destiny is all. Loot, loot, loot. Yes, guys, it's all about the loot. We're gonna go and open it up. But as soon as you fight the boss, all of these doors lock up for some reason. All of those doors just lock up. I never actually try to bring the miner here. What would happen if you bring him here and let's say you try to fight him around this spot? But that would be silly as you wouldn't reach him. So yeah, fighting fighting the miner around this spot would be kind of silly in my opinion. Okay, let's open up this crate then. Let's see what kind of goods we can get. And as always, I think guys, you'll be able to vote for which crate we can open up. So let's start the poll. Which crate to open up? Right, one, two, and three or four. There we go. So we can open up this crate. We can open up this crate. The arm crate or a classified crate. So, guys, you can choose which crate you want us to open up. And power shot for the butcher because you can push him and reach the first at the turkeys. Yeah, but hey, for that, you have to have like some nice mods for your Glocks and you have to time it and everything. They do it so you don't climb up the stairs, but you can open up the door quite quickly, no? And if you climb up the stairs, like, what are you gonna do? You'll have to drop down eventually. Why not all? Because you can only open up one crate. Because that's how the game works. Okay, so it looks like most of you, like 54% of you, so basically over 50% of you have voted for the fourth crate. So let's open up that fourth crate then. Let's see what it is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the loot. Let's get the goop. We have gotten two guns, two melee weapons, and a drill. Plus, we have gotten some copper wires, aluminum cables. I guess these coils are fine. Rotors are fine. Maybe high-tech components. Some first aid kits. All right. I mean, probably not the best crate ever, but not bad. Not bad. Now, let's try to find a way to bring all of this stuff back to the base. Unless... We can probably go back to the base real quick. We can deposit all of this loot that we've gotten and then we can come back here and get the rest of the stuff. You can't open up the door when you are fighting with the boss. Oh, so everything gets locked up. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Bro got a phone repair shop. It do be like that. And yeah, today, guys, we also have to do this big hunt event. As I said, that's the event that I haven't done in months. Uh, last time when I've done it, it was pretty garbage. So I'll try to do it today. Maybe it's garbage as well. Maybe it's still the same goop. 
But hey, I'd like to do it. I'd like to see it. Now you only get eight meds. I think last time we have gotten 20 or something meds, but it was a bit different crate. It was a different classified crate because you don't always get the classified crate. It's like, when is the new Scum Survival video soon? There will be a new Scum Survival video soon. I don't know when. I don't have the exact date, but it is coming out soon. Okay, let's quickly sort out this mess. And let's go back. Uh, copper, copper. Perhaps I can drop some of the things here. Here. Um. That was good enough. Why no more of Walking Zombie 2? There will be more of the Walking Zombie 2, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, high-tech components, do they fit here? Yes, they fit, but why do I want to store them there? I don't know, but let's store them regardless. Well, that is it. We have kind of sorted out our inventory almost. It's like, do you play Among Us? That's pretty sus. The, the Among Us sound effect, you know it. That was exactly the Among Us sound effect. The ch -ch -ch -ch. That's from Among Us. I was the one that voiced over that sound. Will you play the infected? I've made already a few videos on the infected. I've made a few series actually. We did it. The inventory is clean. Inventory is sorted out. It's Among Us, not Among Us, said Jeffrey. I totally agree with you, Jeffrey. It's like, what do you agree with, Jeffrey? And I'm just telling him that I agree with him. This way he's happy. You see, I am big brain. Or I don't agree with him if that makes him happy. I know whatever makes him happy, I guess. I either agree or I don't agree. Among Us. This is insane, guys. Let's play some Among Goons. I made actually a few videos and live streams on Among Goons. Amogus is the right way. Amogus. It's a simple gamer. Okay. Hey, sorry. Is floor four worth for a beginner? Probably not. Unless you want to get copper. Like, there's nothing much you can really get from the fourth floor besides the the copper. So if you want to get copper, it's kind of worth it. If no, then you're not really going to get anything there. Like, you don't really get a lot of red tickets. Or green or yellow tickets. You kind of get nothing from that floor. You do get a few, like, green tickets. A few yellow, maybe one or two red if you get lucky. But it's not really worth your time. Okay, let's get rid of the phones. The USBs. And that is it. The rest will be kind of sorted at the base, hopefully. And for grenades also. I mean, you can also get a grenade there, yes. In that locker. If you're lucky, because I don't think you'll always get it. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Let's drink some more water. The more water, the better. If you guys get thirsty, just drink water. If you, if you need... Any tips and tricks, let me know. Guys, we have just reached level 33, so you know what that means. Um, we can open up three purple purple weapon crates, and then we have some other crates to open up. I guess let's do it. I mean, why wouldn't I open up that stuff? Okay, let's get it. And let's see, what do we get here? Purple shotgun, purple Glock, and purple scar mod. <laughs> Goop. Literally the definition of goop.
nothing. A new bike styles. And more skins. I'm super excited. As you can tell by my face, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited. There, there we have some other like basic blueprints, but we already have all of the basic mods, so they don't really matter. Recycle all miscellaneous. Uh, we have done that a few times already, but we have recycled the mods. It's not, it doesn't really give anything crazy. I mean, I could drop those here for now. Because I just don't really want to delete them. But they're kind of useless. I could just delete them and that's it. Would have been better and healthier if I just deleted those mods. Um, 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 another. Okay, how many drills do we already have? Look at this. We have a decent amount of drills. Titanium site. Yes, one day maybe we'll farm titanium. I don't know when. I don't have a date for it. It's not like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, today, on June 22nd, we will farm titanium. Did I just delete a machete? Maybe. I just wanted space for that slash, uh, slasher and that's it. No space for plastic. Well, time to move it somewhere else. Okay, there we go. And let's drop another set of armor. Oh, there we go. We have space. Perfect. And that is it. We are done with everything. We have sorted out the inventory. Everything's fine. Now, there are a few things left for us to do. We have to go and do a raid. But to do that raid, we have to kill the blind one. And we have to clear the fourth floor. So I guess let's get ready for it. Let's buckle up and let's get ready for it. Except wait, before we do that, we have to go to the settlement. We have to open up the daily loot. And perhaps we can open up a few more mercenaries. Maybe we will do that. Maybe, maybe. Perhaps. And also, we need to keep kind of working on that settlement, but... Uh, yeah. If there was something interesting to unlock, maybe I would farm faster here. How faster? I don't know. Okay, we need to keep doing those light frames. I don't have to forget about that. I keep forgetting about the light frames occasionally. But hey, we need to keep doing it. Um, let's get some planks, of course. Let's get some screws here. Where are they? There we go. We have a little bit of screws. Let's get the daily loot now. We are getting now many more things. Kind of epic. Grind the settlement. We are grinding the settlement right now. We have 52 of these things. I guess that's pretty cool. Let's up. Could have just bought 10 at the same time. I didn't see. I'm an idiot. I apologize. So we have accumulated a lot of these things from daily openings, I guess. Kind of cool. Okay, let's get one more. Now we can open up 10. What else do we have there? Nothing! Once I've gotten like some of those new mercenaries with only three tries. I've gotten two mercenaries with three tries. And here we've gotten zero new mercenaries. Okay. We have to keep leveling up Connor, though. We've also got an uh, Officer Murphy, which is kind of pointless as he can only get to level 20 right now. We need to get more Officer Murphy contracts before I even start leveling up that guy. So how about we level up Connor? I'm going to add six of these things. Connor will soon be at level 40, bro. Um, what if I add 20 of these universal stripes? Okay, he'll only get one more level. I am doing it. That's it. I'm doing it. Connor has to level up. We need a few more of these things. Universal stripes or a quick draw stripes. And then he'll be at level 40. And I'm curious if I'll have to upgrade this, these barracks, maybe. Are they expensive? I mean, again, we need more of these aluminum cables. Unbelievable. What else do we need those aluminum cables for? I know that we need more aluminum cables for this thing to upgrade our minivan. We need 20 of those. So I try to get them. I've already added 30 of these cables here. So yeah, we just need light frames and then we can build the wall to level 3. And then we can build other things in the settlement. Three mercenary and four tries. Okay, so three mercenary and four tries. Okay, that was that then. Um, let's get this. Beautiful. Very beautiful. And uh, 
Alrighty, let's keep working on these frames. Little by little, we are gonna progress in the settlement. Little by little. I don't know why I haven't dropped that stuff yet. I'm sure I already have some of those light frames in the base. I think I had like 20 or something light frames in the base. Wait, I'm, or maybe I have them here. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I want to go back. I want to go back, ladies and gentlemen. I think in one of these chests, we already have some of these frames. There we go. We already have 25 frames, so that's 30 frames. Okay, so soon we will build out that wall. The wall will be at level 3. It's like, what do you have for breakfast? I'm genuinely curious. I'm actually curious what you what do you guys have for breakfast because I don't eat breakfast. I go straight for lunch. But what do you guys eat for breakfast? So it'd be more interesting for me guys to ask you what you eat for breakfast. What is the point of the wall? Once you upgrade the wall, you'll be able to build other things in that base. You'll be able to upgrade like whatever those things are called, I forgot. Like, whatever your lumber mills, like lumber brooms, whatever they're called, and you'll be able to get new workbenches. Coffee. Is coffee... Breakfast. Like, that's not really breakfast, that's just a drink. Like, for me, that wouldn't be a drink. That wouldn't be breakfast. I wouldn't call that breakfast. I mean, some people might call that breakfast. Hey, that's technically... I don't care what sticks technically. I wouldn't call it breakfast. Milk and coffee. That For me, it's not breakfast. It's just... It's a drink. It's just a drink. Unless maybe that's your breakfast. Maybe you just begin with a drink. Tea and biscuits usually. Okay, that's kind of a breakfast. Biscuits are breakfast. It is kind of food. Right. Okay, let's get ready for Bunker Alpha because we have to go and clear the fourth floor. We have to deal with a blind one. And who knows? Maybe today we'll open up one more floppy crate. So that's what we do. It. That's what we do here. We open up floppy crates, ladies and gentlemen. Why, you might ask me? Why not? Um, let's get a few miniguns, right? Let's get the miniguns. Um, what else can we get? And yeah, guys, what is your opinion on Undawn? Have you tried playing it? I think it's a pretty fun and advanced game. I think it's probably one of the more advanced... Like, games at all on mobile device, right? Like, it definitely pushes your mobile phone to its limit. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah, I've already heard some other opinions from people. Some people didn't like it. Some people preferred Life After. They, it's just another copy of Life After. What was I very surprised about is that I haven't gotten a single comment saying Last and Earth better. Usually every game I play on the channel, like doesn't matter, PC game, like triple A game or whatever, I always get at least one comment, Last and Earth better. But I haven't gotten a single comment on their... And Undawn video saying that Last on Earth is better than Undawn. So that's like kind of kind of weird. Undawn kind of broke the trend. Because for every single game that I've played on the channel, like I'd, I'd get at least one comment saying LDOE better. It wouldn't even make what? It wouldn't even make sense. But yeah. Do we have... Do I need anything else for the hard mode? I'm thinking. I got some carrots. I got some more food. It's the same as life after, maybe. As yeah, in the first minutes of the game, I said that it like looks like a life after. It's very similar to life after. Actually, in my opinion, it looks too similar. The UI looks very similar to life after. But yeah. Um, we got everything there is to get. Um, I'm gonna get shotguns. I've almost forgotten about those. Let's get the shotties and let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's buckle up, buckle up, buckle up. So we need the fourth floor and the blind one. That's what we gotta do. Uh, might also need the password. Yes, I've played Undawn and I reached level 37. It's pretty good. 9 out of 10. Okay, glad to hear that. Undawn is awesome. It seemed like life after. Last on Earth is better than Undawn. There we go. That's the first comment that I've gotten. Literally the same person just said that Undawn is awesome. Okay. And again, it's not like one game has to be better than another. I always found it kind of toxic. Like, like, which game do you prefer? This or that? Like, whatever new game I'll play on the channel. Sorry, which game? This or that? 
Like, you don't have to choose which game this or that. Like, you don't have to choose anything. Why does it always have to be this better, that better? It's like the walking zombie too, peeking from the corner. There will be more of the walking zombie too. We have just unlocked new weapons there, so there might be more of the walking zombie too. Last on Earth pay to win. I mean, it's a mobile game. Most of the mobile games are going to be uh, focused on microtransactions. So it's nothing new. Same thing with probably, not probably, but same thing with Life After. Same thing with Undone. Psych, it's, it's not pay to win. Is it not? Usually Life After, like Life After wasn't pay to win. Like in the first like hours, it's not pay to win. Life After gets very pay to win once you hit a certain level. Once you invest like a maybe a few dozen hours in the game. Once you, like, completely understand the game, then it becomes very pay-to-win. Like, Last on Earth is kind of, like, more in your face. Like, hey, buy this new backpack. Life After was very... was more secretive about it. You had to understand the game to... for it to be more pay-to-win. 2505. 2505. Uh, oh seven? No, five seven. There we go, that worked. Ladies and gentlemen, the password worked. Thanks for saying the password as well. It's like CSGO or Valorant. I've never played Valorant, so I'd choose CSGO in a heartbeat. Valorant ain't it. It ain't it, Chief. Valorant. <laughs> it's like, how can you say that if you've never played it? Say what? I p prefer CSGO to Valorant. That's it. It's pretty simple. Valorant is toxic. I don't think CSGO is... Uh, is very friendly either, to be honest with you. Every multiplayer game... Is toxic. Kinda. He likes Free Fire Mobile. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it insane. My eyes feel dirty even from reading that. I had, like, I spent some more hours in CSGO. I kind of, like, not, like, really returned to CSGO, but I occasionally play a match or two in CSGO. I like it. It's pretty fun. I have, like, probably almost 600 hours. I had about 550 hours or 500 a few months ago. The hours are going up. But yeah, I haven't tried Valorant. Probably not trying it. Uh, the second floor. We need to clear the fourth floor fully and then the third blind one. Okay, so let's start from the fourth floor. Where's Day R Survival Episode 3? There will be Episode 3. There was some drama around Day R. Like, usually... Not even a lot of people probably know about it, but... The game has received, like, some weird updates people didn't like about them. Some people weren't happy about Day R. But, I mean, it ain't my problem. What do I know? But yeah, there will be episode 3 of Day R. I just don't know when. It's just that currently... Uh, Undawn came out, so... I don't want to forget about Undawn. There will be at least one more video of Undawn. We also have to continue with Scum Survival. And there's other things to play. So that's kind of cool. It looks like there's lots of games that we are playing here right now. But we are playing basically... There aren't a lot of games that we're playing here. That's what I'm saying here. There is still no content. It's still pretty dry. Because I don't know for how long we'll be able to play Undawn. It will all depend on the game and if you guys like it or not. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die here right now. Well, I survived. Everything's fine. We did it. Everything's calculated, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Why won't you use your own backpack skin? Why? I've used it. This way I get actually comments from people. How do I get this backpack? This way I get less comments asking the same question. And if I can't do something in the game that uh, makes people ask less the same questions, then I would do that. Then I do that. 
That's why I kind of didn't use the other backpack there, because if I have it, I'll get a few comments from people asking, how do I get that backpack? And I'll just say it's impossible to get it. So. It's pretty simple. That's kind of one of the main reasons. Suffering from success. It's, it's not suffering from success. It's just that I've answered that comment like many times already. Like I don't see a reason of answering it. And even though I like that backpack, right? That backpack is cool. Like maybe like, I don't know, maybe 60, 70% is the reason because like you can't obtain that backpack. So it's kind of weird to show it. And the other reason is uh, this backpack looks cooler. Like I probably prefer this backpack to the other backpack, being honestly. And Dawn is trash to me. Very boring at PVP is terrible, says to Brown. As I said, everybody likes different things. Right? If it's trash to you, it's trash to you. Right? You're not wrong and you're not right. Like, it is miles ahead of Last on Earth. I'm sure it has a lot more content than Last on Earth. Like, it's not even comparable. But yeah, just because one game is more advanced than the other and it has more content doesn't mean that it's necessarily better. Just die, stupid frozen schmucks! There we go, they're dead. They're dead. How do I get this backpack? I have no idea. Was available during like whatever season. Okay, let's go through here. I don't think I need to destroy five dirts, so that's why I'm not doing that. Always heal there in the corner because that turret might send another shadow here and you won't see it behind these walls. So there's that. No skin backpack gives the last and earth vibes. Yeah, I mean, without the skins, backpacks look better. I mean, if I had the choice... Actually, there's actually another backpack. The toxic backpack. The... Whatever it's called. The nuclear backpack, kind of. It looks like a normal backpack, except on the end, there's, like, that nuclear sign on the back of that backpack. So, this will be, like, my... This would be my favorite backpack. The second backpack would be the happy psychic backpack. The third backpack would be that nuclear backpack. And the fourth backpack, it's a no-skin backpack. I wouldn't have any other backpacks. Can't believe it just ranked backpacks. That's... That's embarrassing. I got punched once in the face. It's okay. Salty backpack. I don't think there's a salty backpack. You forgot anniversary backpack. I don't know what's the anniversary backpack. But if I don't know it, it means it's goop. As I said, I only mentioned those three backpacks. Four? Three, four. You got the point. I hope the guns were repairable so that we don't have to store a bunch of guns in our base. I hope that when they update this in the future, it's not gonna happen, probably. The game has been out for six years and uh, people have been asking for that feature kind of for a long time, but they would have to completely change how the game works. So that's not, that's not happening. Guns is your loot. And if they remove guns and they add repair kits... It might be the same thing. They might just add repair kits, but... They'd have to make those repair kits unstackable. Then it'll be... They're not gonna do this. They won't add unstackable repair kits. So it'll stay as it is. They won't change the game. Oh wow, I almost died. To make that, they'll need to introduce bullets or something. 
Yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be like a completely different game. I don't think it's gonna work. It's pretty simple. The gun breaks, it's gone. Maybe it breaks too fast, maybe... Maybe something, but that's another topic. change the gun mechanics, the way we obtain them, the if we repair them or not, if they stack or not, like a lot of things would have to change in the game and like I don't see that happening. I'm doing a raid, I'm raiding the Neo from the Matrix, wish me luck. I think I've raided a base named Neo. I don't know if it was good though, I don't remember. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Why don't they make it multiplayer or have an area where players could trade and play together? I don't know. Hopefully that answers your question. These questions have been floating since the... It's probably the first day of Last Earth. Like, I'm not even kidding. Probably the day the Last Earth came out, people asked for trading. It's also not happening in this game. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You can kind of trade in the in the crater, but that's it. Double wheeled Glocks. We had uh, dual Berettas before, but they were changed to revolvers. But we had dual Berettas in the game before. You might be like, "Sarek, you lying to me?" I'm not. I am not. I'm telling you facts. We had dual Berettas in the game before. But then they were changed to revolvers. To pythons or whatever, you got the point. When you raid and you get raided, is it players or AI? It's all AI. Everything is AI. Like for real, you're not getting raided by real people. You get raided by bots and by and you are raiding bots. Maybe you are a bot yourself. No, I'm kidding. I don't think we are bots. But again, how would we prove that, right? As I said many times, maybe you guys are all not real, right? Maybe the entire world around me is not real. I live in a simulation and all of you are just fake. Like, how would you know that you were in a simulation? Maybe your entire purpose was there to just live your life so that you exist around me, right? I am the center of the universe. I am the main character in this world, and you're just side characters. Maybe that's what it is. That would be the most likely scenario. Like, what, everybody's the main character? I don't think so. I think there's only one main character. I think that's how it works. We live in a simulation. Okay. That would explain things. Okay, we need to go and fight the blind one. Let's not forget it. Let's go for the blind one. Dual wield MGIs, uh, MGLs, what? That's too much. We need more scum survival videos. There will be more scum survival. NPCs, no side characters, just NPCs. Just straight up NPCs. Nah, no, guys, I'm kidding. You're not NPCs or, or side characters. Again, I couldn't prove that. For the same reason, like, maybe you, you are the main character there, right? Maybe all of us are just side characters and NPCs for you. Maybe. Like, everything might be possible, right? But psych, I am real! That's what a... That's what an AI would say. Right? I can also tell you guys that, hey guys, it's not a simulation. But what if I was programmed to say that? Hmm? So you're telling me there are NPCs out there smarter than me? Yeah. Facts. Facts. An <laughs> NPC.
Okay, let's... Wait, I didn't have to even clear that room. We are just going for the blind one and that's it. Oh no, he knows aboard the mission. Uh, I'll pretend as if I didn't see that. So you can still continue the mission. I don't want to break the plans. But hey guys, don't worry. Being an NPC or a side character is fine. Oh, good. Okay, my armor is about to break. Um, That's not going to be enough for the blind one. We'll probably have to get another armor from the inbox. Okay, that's what we'll do. Zyke is trying to warn us without violating the rules of the simulation. I think you meant simulation at stimulation. <laughs> okay. Guys, we live in a stimulation. Bruh, that's a good joke. For the same thing, like, Sayak, in what simulator do you use to play last? Not emulator, but simulator. The same vibes. Simulator and stimulator. Okay. It's like, what stimulator do you use to play last day on Earth? Okay. How do I get the gear? Um. Okay, the paints. And the jacket. We got it. We got the armor. Let's delete all of this goop. And let's get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we are all emulated in blue stacks. Oof. That's a deep one. I'm ready to go and fight the boss. CBRN. Nah, I wouldn't use CBRN here. Why would I waste that armor? Okay, I wanna break I wanna break this block. It's like, what do you think? How much time will it take to reach the level where I would be able to use guns all the time? Right now, I have a locker full of guns and bunker alpha. You'll never reach that level where you'll be able to use guns all the time, as you'll always have to farm. And as long as you farm, as long as you put bring back more guns to the base than you use, you can use your guns. You're not gonna reach the level where you get guns for doing nothing. So if you keep playing the game, you can do it right now. If you grind bunker alpha a lot, then... can do it now. If you raid a lot, you can do it now. Did it. We absolutely destroyed the blind one. We use guns all the time. I do a lot of raids. Which wouldn't be realistic. Like, for a majority of the players, it's not going to be realistic to do that many raids. And to be honest, for the majority of the people, if you'll have this account, if you'll be at that level, you're not going to play the game as there's nothing there to grind for. So it kind of doesn't matter either. What is the name of the emulator? Of the stimulator, I use uh, Mimu Stimulator to play Last Day on Earth. Okay, let's give these things. Will it be enough? No, that was not, guys. So we cannot open up the floppy crate. It's fine. I didn't want it anyways. You're pixelated for some reason. Everything's made out of pixels. Uh, this entire monitor that you're watching me on, your mobile phone or whatever, everything's made out of pixels. But if I became blurry, then... Then, then try to 
increase the quality? I don't know. Um, that's it. We can bring that stuff back to the base, guys. And let's get ready for the first raid of the day. You use, you grind, you store. That's the fun of games, says Born Saz. Perhaps. Perhaps. Do you need Windows 11? Uh, no. You can get an emulator and play on non-Windows 11. The live stream's blurry because you're not wearing glasses. It's a nice take. Oh, sorry, I am silly. I forgot about the glasses. Okay. <laughs> Make sure to equip them next time. Equip your glasses. Okay, let's quickly draw up the guns. And yeah, let's talk to the raiders. I want to see what other tasks we have to do. I think we might need to craft a stack of first aid kits. Wait, actually, those are not first aid kits. Stack of iron plates. Boom, done. Five iron hatchets. Let's get them. I'm having pancakes. Insane. That is ridiculous. My mind is blown right now. It might look like it's not blown. You might think that hey, Psycho, just like my mind is absolutely blown. It's destroyed into smithereens. You're eating pancakes. That is insane, bro. It is honestly insane. Whose else's brain just got destroyed knowing that someone out there is eating pancakes right now? That changed my life. That changed the way I view life. I'll never recover. My life has been changed for for better, I hope. So thank you, stranger on the internet, for letting us know that you're eating pancakes right now. Thank you. Okay, let's craft five hatchets. Except I don't know if I want to craft them because we still have a lot of hatchets here. So we can still take them and go for the right. There we go. Hopefully this raid is decent. If it's bad, I'm sad. The 200 or something raw meat has been sitting there for ages. There's just no expiry date on them. If you don't ride the expiry date, they'll never expire. Pretty simple. Do I need this? Yeah, I needed to upgrade those guns. We also have some more meat here, and it's been here for forever, and those carrots as well. Well, at least they're in the fridge, but... Feed it to the doggo. As I said, every morning I wake up in real life and I feed the doggos right away. That's my morning routine. So no worries. They get enough food. Totally. Show your chest. I've literally just been showing my chest for the past five minutes, mate. Just rewind the live stream. Thank you, Sayak. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. You don't have to thank me that much, though. But you are absolutely welcome, mate. All you have to do is just open your eyes and you will see the loot that we have here. The crates. Thank you, Sayak. As I said, stop thanking me. Stop it. We just got a comment that says nothing. It just says a random word, undone. What does it mean, Luca? Can you elaborate? It's like he's asking you to play more undone. He just used one word. He just said one word, undone. Nothing else but undone. Some people come and say like Westland Survival Play or Frostborn Play. This character here didn't even use the word play. They just said undone. Not undone play. But just undone. Genius. How dare you raid 
curva. All right. Maybe this raid will be pug. Maybe this raid will be not pug. I guess only time will tell. We are simplifying the language here on the live stream. No need to make full sentences. No need to say the full sentence. Just use one word and that's it. Just undone. And that's it. It's like Green Hell Survival again. Green Hell was fun. I'd actually like to play Green Hell in VR, but yeah, to connect to VR, to record a VR video takes like so much effort, it's it's ridiculous but I, I'd love to play some more VR one day some more VR green hell in VR, hopefully I'm placing it in the right spot hopefully Hey, to those that have just joined, welcome to the stream, welcome to the raid number one. I have never raided in my entire life, this is my first ever raid. And I am very excited. My excitement's flowing... ...through my pores, oh no. Stop taking garbage! There we go, that's better. Let's open up some other crate. Some other crates. Um, more Glocks. Not that bad. We have gotten some armor. Okay. More armor. Okay, some paints. Decent. We could probably get another set of armor. We just don't have a better jacket as this jacket is broken. Maybe we'll find a full durability jacket somewhere. So I grabbed the football helmet. We already have a lot of those helmets at the base, so we kind of don't want more. I don't want more. We don't need more. Okay, we will open that stuff up. But before we do this, let's deal with the web of zombies. Will you buy the Apple VR? Why would I? What am I going to do with it? And what, am I going to sell my kidney to get that Apple VR? Let's get gasolinium. And that's it. Let's store the rest of the loot. Oops. That's the wrong button. Where's my sprinting skill? I was supposed to sprint. But I started sneaking instead of sprinting. Almost died on the spike trap. Would have been a calculated death. But luckily we didn't die. I'll drop that here. I'll bring some planks back to the base. Maybe we'll need them, maybe we won't. I don't know. I know you need a lot of planks to progress in the settlement, so that's it. Um, all right. Let's get going then. It's like sell the kidney for Apple VR, it's worth it. But I mean, it's not even out yet. How do you know that it's worth it? More planks, okay. I don't know if they'll even fit. But I'll get them. I'll get that stuff. It's not like this base is amazing. It's It has a lot of trash. But I'd rather bring some trash to the base than nothing. Right, a little bit of trash is better than nothing. I'll bring hatchets. Okay. Like, would you like jump ability and last day on Earth? Uh, jump ability? A jump ability, what would it do? I mean, obviously you would jump with a jump ability. <laughs> Duh, but why? Why? Why do we need a jump ability? You know what, I'll just say, it. yes, I want a jump ability. Never had a jump ability. I'd want 
a jump ability. That is it, we have raided the base. Does it get Sark's approval? It's and honestly hard to say. I mean, we got planks, but don't really need them. It probably gets Sykes approval because I got a full inventory of goop, but like I really didn't need that loot. But let's say if I had gotten this base maybe like four years ago, then maybe it would have been amazing. I don't think this base is bad, so it gets Sykes approval. Like this wasn't a garbage base. Like the loot wasn't amazing. Obviously, we didn't get guns, but I don't think this base is bad. Not every base is supposed to have steel and guns and uh, I don't know, helicopters. Which would be great, but we don't have that stuff. But getting planks, it's fine as well. It's not that bad. It's like, what do you feel was the best year for last since 2017? 2017 was the best year for last year. It's easy. If it wasn't 2017, then 2018, that's it. 2017 was the best year. I don't think there was a better year. 2017, when the game came out, that was the best year for the game. Easy. Okay, let's get more bandages. And let's try to quickly sort out the inventory. Okay, now a little bit of other stuff. We need suburbs to come out. Perhaps one day they'll come out. Maybe. Putting on the clown makeup right now for saying that. Guys, maybe it'll come out one day. I still haven't even unlocked those suburbs. I don't even know when I'll unlock them. Like, I need a lot of resources to still unlock those suburbs. They're being lazy for the helicopter. Honestly, I don't know the deal with the helicopter. I honestly have no idea. Same thing with the ATV and the swamp location and other stuff. I think people knew about the swamp location. They have teased it, but they have avoided those swamp location questions and other stuff. As, I don't know what, they hated those questions. Again, I can't put words in their mouth, but... It was almost as if they hated that stuff when people asked about ATV and other things. And I don't understand why. I honestly don't get it. Like, people need answers to that. If everybody's asking that question, that means they need the answer. That's it. Like, I mean, it's pretty simple. If a lot of people are asking a question, just answer it. Like, it's not... It's nothing crazy. But for some reason, they avoided those questions like plague. And I don't get it. Like, I, till this day, I'm confused. I don't understand. Same thing with the helicopter. They, they have teased it once or twice. They have shown the helicopter something but they have never actually answered any helicopter questions so it's kind of weird what are you talking about about things the developers never mentioned about helicopters and uh, before atv came out they never really spoke about atvs and any q a's or anything they'd always like avoid every question about atv or anything for some reason Douglas says, don't put things in the game if you're not going to develop them. Absolutely. Okay, let's respond. We also showed Clan Wars. Yeah, but I mean, the those things I don't even care about because I know they're never going to come out. Like, we're never going to get Clan Wars. Like, that's it. The crater is... They have stopped developing the crater. We're not going to get any clan wars or anything. Like, the multiplayer part of the game, like, just forget about it. Like, we're not getting any of that because, to be honest, people don't really even want that. There's Frostborn for it. I think there's a greater demand for single player here content than multiplayer content, to be honest. But... Yeah. Uh, I totally forgot what we were even talking about. In any case. Let's get some miniguns. Let's go for a hunt. I always keep saying, let's get the miniguns and I never end up using them.
Okay, that's more weapons that I need. Let's also get a katana. And let's go to that special event. So, yeah, it is weird why they haven't answered any questions. Why they haven't given us teasers for things that people always wanted. So, I kind of don't understand their end game goal. Right? Like, maybe they've been saving up that helicopter, you know? Like, to revive Last on Earth. Maybe they're waiting until, like, Last on Earth dies completely and then, like, boom! They'll revive the corpse and, like, the helicopter is finally out. You can come back to the game. So it's, like, maybe they're, like, secret card. Like, a trump card, as they say. Maybe, but it's, like... I... Like, I'm sure it's not gonna work anymore. It's not like even I don't think, but... I'm almost sure that... It's not gonna work anymore. Like, Helicopter is not gonna revive the game because the game's been out for six years. Like, you're not gonna revive something with a helicopter. So that's not... So I don't think it's gonna work, honestly. But they're still holding on to it. So I honestly don't know. Last Earth is already like a corpse there. Like, there's nothing to revive. It's too late. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. Honestly, I have no idea about the about why helicopters not out. Why, why they've never teased anything about helicopters. I mean, we have gotten one or two teasers, but that's it. Okay, so we came outside because we were doing this big hunt event. To do it, we need to do the assignments, complete tasks to claim rewards. So we don't even need to com claim these tasks now. We just need to uh, kill the bruiser in the factory, then pine bushes and pine grove. Let's go to the pine bushes. It's like, what was the lowest point of last and do you think, think now? I mean, again, what do you mean the lowest point? Like, in the past, like, year, we have started getting, like, less and less updates. So, the lowest point of last Earth is now. I mean, tomorrow, it'll be the lowest point as well. Well, maybe not now. Okay, maybe not now. Maybe a month ago. Maybe two months ago. Because the transport hub has revived the, the community a little bit. Right. So, before that was the deadest point. <laughs> yeah, so before that was the deadest point. Now it's 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 not as dead. Oh wow, there are five zombies attacked us out of nowhere. Bro, will spit on me. Okay, we got him. Now we need to deal with one more zombie, and that's it. But yeah, say so it's it's always weird to me that they've never given players what they wanted. They wanted just a silly helicopter, right? They could have just added a silly helicopter. But at the same time, maybe it's also smart. Another reason why I see maybe they don't add any helicopters or anything. Because if they add the helicopter, it's not like the game is going to change a lot. Then there will be nothing for people to wait for, right? If, if let's say, we had the helicopter, instead of the boat, they could have added the helicopter. That's it. There, will be, there would be nothing for us to wait for. Instead of the laboratory, they could have just added Bunker Bravo. It would have been the same thing. Like, Bunker Bravo could have been the laboratory. Right? Let's say they added the helicopter. Instead of the boat, it's, it was the helicopter. And instead of the... Instead of the laboratory, it was Bunker Bravo. It would have been the same thing as we have right now. That's it. The game would have still stayed the same. Except there is nothing for us to hope for. Like, right now, there is still, like, that tiny... Sparkle... This tiny spark in deep inside of us, hoping that maybe a helicopter comes out one day, maybe a bunker Bravo comes out one day. But if we already had it, then there's nothing to wait for, right? So it's kind of like a thing to keep, maybe keep you tied to the game. Maybe that would be like the only explanation why they still haven't released the helicopter. Because probably they know that if after helicopter releases, there's nothing they can do to hype up the community because that's it there's nothing else they can release like helicopter and the uh, bunker charlie that those are the last things that will come out to the game and after that there's nothing they can add because there's nothing nothing here right 
What else can they add here? There's nothing. There's nothing for us to wait for. Okay, factory and pine grove. But I, I might be just completely wrong. I have to mention this again. That it, those are just my thoughts. But that probably makes the most sense for me. To me. What do you personally want from last or the most? What saves this game for you? Um, again, like we'd have to define what does it mean save? What we just need, we just need normal updates, right? Normal updates, they need to redo some things in the game that completely don't make sense. I think we've already kind of spoken about it a few live streams ago. Like they should make places more connected. Like for example, that crater that we have. You should be able to play in the crater. And at the same time, crater has to be somehow some way tied to the main world. Like maybe you have to play in the crater to get some special parts to assemble a weapon repair bench in single player. Or maybe you have to play in the crater to get like some buffs for a single player. Then the settlement. The settlement has to also be connected with the main world because currently it's kind of not. So they have to do those things. And then they have to change some of the other locations that would make more sense. The loot has to make more sense. Like, Laboratory definitely has to drop better loot. Bunker Bravo has to drop better loot because after you finish clearing Bunker Bravo, you don't get anything there. So they should kind of work on that. And then, I don't know, just normal updates. Just like whatever, a new location, an event here and there. And that's it. As I said, I don't think there's anything they can do at this point to bring back the hype days when this game came out. There's no way they'll do that. But... They can still keep this community alive. There's still a lot of people that want Last and Earth to survive. There's still a lot of people that want cool updates in Last and Earth. So there's that. The city in the north, too. Yeah, I mean, that city in the north. Like, they can keep developing from there. JCF, JCF quit a long time ago. When is the time for you to quit playing Last Earth? When you guys will quit. When you guys will stop playing Last Earth, that's the day when I will stop playing Last Earth. So as long as, as long as you guys are here, I'll keep playing. Right? And that is the reason why I play Last Earth as often as I can, because I know that if I stop playing Last Earth, a lot of people will quit it. I'm not saying that probably developers would maybe feel if I stopped playing Last Earth. I don't think that they'd feel the difference. But the people here on this channel would probably maybe stop playing Last Earth less. They'll start playing it less often. So I kind of don't want the game to die. So I'm doing my best that I can to keep the community alive until the next update. Uh, wait, we have done those events. Correct? The big hunt event. Let's open it up. Oh no, we haven't uh, claimed all the assignments. Wait, we will claim all of those rewards then. Let's go to the factory. I totally forgot about the factory. What about Eden, Cyric? I mean, Eden will probably be the... The thing up there. In the north, the the suburbs, probably there'll be like something like Eden here. Maybe. And also, we need more communication from the devs. That's also another thing. We have almost no communication with the devs. That's another thing. Would be very cool if... If, if we got like more sneak peeks from them. If we knew what they're working on. Like, obviously, if they give us a sneak peek, oh, we're working on another skin. Like, nobody really cares about it, right? If, if they still want to, like, obviously work on the game, it would be cool to know what they're working on. Like, to give some sneak peeks. People like the sneak peeks. I like sneak peeks. Everybody likes sneak peeks.
they said that they're working on a roadmap, so maybe we'll get that roadmap. But again, it's been a really long time ago since they've said that they're working on a, on a roadmap. Plus, we haven't gotten the second part of the Q&A. We've gotten only the first part, so maybe they kind of swept it under the rug. They said that there will be the second part of the Q&A, but we didn't get it. So I don't know if it'll ever come out. Because it's been like, what, a month ago? Wait, I'll actually pull out the old Q&A. Where, where was it? When they've done it to know what's up. Um, it's probably in the game news. Oh, wow. It's been a long time ago. Okay, so Q&A been on April 29th. Wow, so it's almost... Oh, 28th. So it's almost two months ago. We had the second part... The first part of the Q&A. And... Uh, they started gathering those questions. I don't even know when. Um, yeah, I don't even know when they started gathering those questions, but yeah, it's been two months ago since the first part of the Q&A, so I know why we haven't gotten the second part of the Q&A. The Q&A is already over, so I don't think we're getting the second part. And if we are getting it, then it's too late. Like, it's not like they're gathering more Q&A questions. Unless they still are, and I'm just not aware. Kill stalking bruiser at the factory. Where's that stalking bru bruiser? Where's that stalking bruiser? Don't tell me he's inside. Bruh. I'm not ready for the stalking bruiser. Oh, there we go. There's the stalking bruiser. Cruiser, Cyric. Ha, yes, it's cruiser. Let's deal with the stalking cruiser. I want to know when Act 3 is coming. That should be in the Q&A. But yeah, it's weird why we haven't gotten the second part of the Q&A yet. It do be like that. Okay, let's go down there. And hey, let's open up the big hunt things here. Let's claim everything we got, right? Let's get the rewards and let's open up those crates, guys. So we've just spent some time doing these tasks. And now these are the rewards we can get. We can open up one of these crates only. Only one crate, guys. Only one crate. And I got 10 bricks! Plus, I've gotten an extra key here. Do I have enough keys? I have only one key. We need five keys, guys, to open up another special crate. And we could also refresh the task, right? We could get one more crate. Get one more key. And that's it. And then we have premium. That's what I also don't understand. Like, you can... Every time you get this big hunt event, all of your premium rewards just get sent here. So then you can buy those other premium rewards. But there's already a premium pass. And yet you can buy another premium pass for the hunt event. It is... It is weird. Like, that thing is weird. Like, this entire big hunt event still does not get my approval. It's still a garbage event. Probably the worst. One of the worst events. Maybe not the worst, the worst event, but it's, de it's definitely up there. Top five worst events, probably. Top three, maybe, even. Please tell me what is Q&A. Q&A is questions and answers. That's what Q&A was. Um, let's drop that here. Um, and more food. We did it. Okay, I want to get back there real quick. I should have maybe brought some iron to smelt it, but it doesn't matter. We'll do that later. Now I want to do an expedition or two because I'm still... Uh, I'm sure that we can progress there a bit further because we have unlocked the train station or whatever it's called. And I think we can do something. We can do something. And more Undone. There will be more Undone, hopefully. There will be part two coming out soon. 
Um, let's assemble his squad here. Let's get the specialist. Explosive barrel, so we have to put here Connor so he does not explode. And here it doesn't matter. We can get jack of all trades and second in line... Karma. Let's see how it all works out. Recommended gear score, 10k, and we only have 8k here. Maybe that'll be enough. Upon dying, explodes and deals AoE damage. Tucker's aim shot may detonate prematurely. I don't even have a Tucker here. Maybe I'll need to add Tucker instead of Karma, but Tucker is not leveled up. Maybe I can't even beat this thing. Maybe I won't be able to beat this expedition. Forlorn event. Where did the forlorn event go? We had it and it just disappeared. That's it. I don't know. I can't really answer that question either because I don't know the answers for it. So sadly, I can't answer that. Okay, let's see if we can beat this thing. Maybe we can, maybe we cannot. Okay, the barrel just exploded. Everybody's still alive. The dude's about to die! That's it, the jack of all trades dude is dead. Somebody else just exploded. Maybe we need Tucker for that. Tucker is gonna clutch, but for me, Tucker is so weak here. I need to level up Tucker. I need to level up Tucker. Now there is way too many of them. Look at this, they have so much health. It's actually ridiculous. And I think there's probably one more wave. Maybe. Or maybe that is the last wave. The dude keeps stunning me. I'm almost out of health. We gotta spam this bandage. Maybe I'll be able to heal him up just a bit. Okay, the dude died. Okay, so there are two more zombies. That's it. We gotta deal with her. If there's one more wave, then rip. If it's the last wave, then we stand a chance. Gotta deal with this schmuck. Okay, do come on, more wave! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, there ain't nothing we can do about that! There's one more wave, an entire wave. I thought that was the last one. I mean, you can't even see what's going on down there. That's it, turd got overheated. And, uh, yeah, I'm still surprised that she's alive for so long. How on earth is she still alive there? That's it, she got destroyed. Yikes. Maybe we can switch to a different character then. See, 2% strategy, 98% uh, gear score, another scam. Yep. Yep. Expeditions could have been fun as well. But here we are. Um, Docker. We could level up Docker to level... To a decent level, guys. Should we do this? I could either level up Docker or something. Jack of all trades. Can't level him up higher because he's only at level 30. Could get Docker. Wait, really? Jack of all trades is already at level 30. Karma's at level 35. Oh, we could level up Karma. Absolutely, let's do that. Only one level. Only one extra level. Bruh. Uh, well, let's try to upgrade Docker. Okay, at level 29. Level 30, let's upgrade him. And that is it. So Tucker's at level 31. Let's try to use Tucker then. 
We could also upgrade Lemmy Maverick a bit. I have those things. Let's go, whatever. Let's upgrade them. The guy has so much gear score, like almost 3k gear score, but he's kind of useless. No need for Tucker, just use him. Who him? Him who? Um, Connor. First in line here, then. It's probably gotta be Tucker. But Tucker doesn't have any health. Like, the dude's just gonna die. The dude has 3k health, and Jack of all trades has 4k health. Tucker will just get destroyed. And Karma has 6k health. Okay, Karma has... Wait, what? Karma can actually tank for a while. How about I add Karma here and then Tucker goes there. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Level up the car. Yes, we could also level up the car, but for that we need to have more aluminum cables. And I don't have those aluminum cables. Karma survived for long because she has the agility perk. Hmm. At least there should be other uh, uses for mercenaries rather than this. Absolutely. Okay, I don't even know what I've done there. Maybe I should have exploded that thing earlier. I don't know when it was I supposed to explode that stuff. Probably made a mistake. Probably mistakes were made. I mean, we will fail this thing again. It's even pointless to probably continue, right? I should have just exploded that thing right away. When there was that explosion. Okay. We just exploded some of them. Say, so, hey, Tucker is pretty cool. I should have exploded that at the very beginning. Okay, so if we don't beat this thing, I'll do it again. That's it, we did it. Whoa! Guys, it wasn't this... Stop it! Stop it! I don't believe it, guys. This wasn't the same... ...thing as last time. Was it? There were way less zombies. I know that that... ...exploder that we've exploded... Exploded lots of other zombies, but still there were many more of them Right the other time we had more zombies. There's no way it's the same wave Because I don't believe that that Tucker just exploded like what 10 zombies Unbelievable in any case. Well, we can continue further. That was easy Tucker skill issue Maybe Yeah, they were different like those felt like different waves those really felt like two different waves like, obviously, I believe that Tucker has exploded, like, some sort of a zombie, and he exploded some of those zombies. But there was one more extra way, but here, apparently, we just did it. So, I don't know. I totally don't understand that, but whatever. Let's try to do this daily task, then. So, we have another threat here. Raging zombie, upon receiving damage, uh, builds up speed and power of its blows, restores its health with each blow. Mercenaries with high attack speed are not the best choice against it, so we have to... ...have here someone... Whatever. So here I can add... Second in line oil puddle. So I can add here Connor. He'll run to the front. Right, second in line here. Can be Lemmy Maverick. And first in line can be Karma. I mean, then we could also get Tucker if that doesn't work. Instead of Lemmy Maverick, we could get Tucker. Okay, actually Tucker is probably going to be better. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see if that's going to work out. Maybe it won't. Beginner's bad luck. I don't know. It changes every time you try. Then that's also weird. True, there was more waves last time. Yep. If that's even going to work out. I'm gonna heal up a little bit later. Whatever, let's heal up right now. Maybe healed up too early.
Dude, these guys have so much health and they'll start healing up with each attack. I don't think I'll be able to beat this thing. Yeah, they're healing up too fast. I'm just not doing enough damage to deal with them. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing I'll be able to do. The karma is not a good choice here. She shoots too fast. Yeah, they're all at full health. I can't do anything here. Yeah, check this out. They're all at full health. I'm shooting the wrong zombies. My idiot character is shooting the other zombie and they're attacking the zombie in the middle. And there's nothing I can do about it. They're all shooting different zombies. How are you supposed to beat this wave when your characters can't even shoot the same things? Like, it's stupid to say don't use the turret. But I'm not even shooting the right zombie there. That's it. It reached max health. Both of those two zombies in front are healing already. There's nothing I can do about it. The turret does nothing now. It's stupid. We can't do anything here. Also, the turret shoots too fast. Stop using the turret. Um, maybe... Maybe... I'll try to get rid of Karma because she shoots a bit too fast though. Okay, Murphy, Connor, uh, Tucker, and what about Maverick? Is Maverick fast? I don't know. Damage. He shoots pretty fast, I guess. He also has a turret, so that's not going to be good. Rust would be great, but Rust is low level for me. Let's try to get Karma again. Let's try to do the same thing. Use melee mer mercenaries. I don't have... I have only one mer melee mercenary. The other ones are so low level. Why we can't choose our target with a turret? It's so inconvenient, indeed. Welcome to those that have just joined to the stream. Jayla S. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Using the turrets here on the first few things is maybe good. I don't know. Depends where I'll shoot. It's better to just use the full turret than just do like brrrt, brrrt, during this wave. Okay, that's stupid. I should not have done that, probably. Maybe I'll really just... I won't just use the turret. Okay, here we go. I'm using the turret on the zombie. That's it. I failed now. And that zombie's gonna heal up. And that is it. We're not gonna progress further now anymore. Yep. Yeah, I should not have used the turret on the zombie because I can't do anything here anymore. Let's see what we dealt with that zombie. They said I'm not using the turret then again. Because using the turret here seems stupid. Okay, now perhaps I can use the turret to finish the zombie off. That's it, we got it. Something's going on. Okay, one of the uh, mercenaries just died. Oh no, there's another wave here. Yeah. It's not really gonna work out. The dude died as well. And there are still way too many zombies and probably there are still a few more waves. Another wave. Yes, indeed, there are more waves as well. Remove Karma to Chris or Rachel. I don't have the... They're at low level. They'll just die instantly. You got this. I ain't got this because I don't have the right mercenaries for it. You need. I need to level up other dudes. They're at low level. I need to level up Rust or Rachel. Oh, I can open up this though. Flamethrower guy will be good there. 
I don't know. The point is, the the more often you do the damage, the faster they heal. So you have to to have here mercenaries that shoot slow but do a lot of damage. For example, Rust, he's a melee guy. But I can't level him up. He's only at level 11 here. Liberty would be trash. Officer Murphy maybe would be fine. He has a shotgun, but he's only level 1. Try auto squad. With auto squad, it's not going to work either. I mean, we can do it, but... Yeah, they're giving us stupid uh, things. We could try. Obviously, but those are wrong mercenaries. Might work unless we get lucky. Maybe, you know what? We'll get different waves now. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's do one more try. If that doesn't work, that's it. That doesn't work. Then we'll have to upgrade the other mercenaries. The turret is useless. Because the more you shoot them, the more they heal up. I think that happens on the second wave. At first, maybe you can shoot. I don't know. It's stupid. It's honestly stupid. Yeah, that's it. Look at this. I'm shooting that zombie, and now it is going to start healing up with each bunch, probably. Okay, the dude just exploded. And my idiotic character here, me up there, I can't even shoot at one zombie. My character just keeps shooting at everything. I'm sure there are more waves, so there's no way we will beat them. Yeah, the dude started probably healing up. She does nothing! She can't even kill that other zombie! Look at this, there's another wave. Another wave. Yeah, that's just silly. That is just silly, ladies and gentlemen. Still did better, did we? There's still one more wave. I know, it's useless. So, yeah. We need to level up our mercenaries. We need to get other mercenaries that don't shoot that fast. Like, we need to have more melee mercenaries or something. Wait, why did I do it again? Stop it. Stop it. Silly game. So let's get out of here. These debuffs are crazy. Yes, indeed. We've had a similar... We've had a similar thing already. A similar situation before. Where you don't have to shoot them fast enough. But I don't know how we've beaten it. I just upgraded mercenaries and that's it. That's how we were able to beat it. I just got more gear score and that's it. We came close. There was an entire wave. Like, we've just... We were not close. There was still, like, so much for us to do. We weren't close at all. And a waiting tag, 034. Uh, thanks for the super chat. There is a mod with the drone that helps your accuracy. Genesis, Genesis gun as well. With your drone. Star Snipe got it when he finished the drone story. Oh, nice. That's nice. Thanks for letting me know. There is a mod with drone that helps your accuracy. Genesis guns as well. With your drone star snipe, got it when he finished the drone story. Does it work? Uh, thanks for the super chat, but does it work when he's in your pocket or you have to let out that drone for the... Uh, for your accuracy to boost? I don't know. It seems maybe cool. Because if the drone has to fly around you to boost the accuracy, then it's, it's absolutely pointless, Perk. But if it can just stay in your inventory and it's like a buff, then maybe it's nice. I don't know.
I'd rather just upgrade everyone than go on missions. I mean, I've upgraded them, but yeah, we've reached the cap and that's it. We need to wait until we beat that paywall. So there's that. Bam. And bam, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be like, psych, what are we are doing? We are playing a little bit of Joe Gesser. Time for us to touch a little bit of grass. We played some last on Earth and nice time. Touch the, now it's time to touch some grass. Let him out, but I think it's 20 to 10 or 20% accuracy. Even if it's full percent accuracy, even if, if it's 100% accuracy for when the drone is out, it's pointless because you can use that drone only four times. So that's that's a useless perk. Even if it's 100% accuracy, that drone is trash. That perk is goop. Uh, it's gonna be Hungary for sure. In what city though? Um, in what city, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, it seems pretty big, so. Budapest? I don't know if it's in Budapest. I mean, there's no water around this place. I don't see it. Maybe it's not in Budapest. Maybe it's somewhere else. Well, I guessed it. I'm on the second spot. And ladies and gentlemen, it was in Budapest. It was over here. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. It was a nice guess. Oh, well. Oh, Lord. I have no clue where we are. And I can't even walk. This is stupid. It doesn't allow me to travel. I don't see anything on that sign. So it's either Thailand or... Could be South America, probably not. Either Thailand or, or somewhere in Africa. It doesn't look like Thailand though. Maybe it does. I don't know, man. Well, we'll have to go for it. Okay, I'm on the third spot. I shouldn't get knocked out. Maybe I've guessed a bit too early. Okay, so it was Malaysia. Or maybe it was Indonesia. I don't know what was it. it in any case, we got the right guess. Kind of the right guess. Close. And that's good enough. If it was close, it's a W in my book. Exit. Um, reserve parking. Here in the south, so what is somewhere in Australia? Is it somewhere in Australia? Um, might also be in Africa, but. I don't know. Welcome to place of rising sun. Oh my goodness. It's, I don't think it's in Australia. It's going to be somewhere in Africa then. Cause that's gotta be some of the, uh, it's, it's, it's a flag, but I don't know that flag. It was South Africa's flag. Okay. That's a good enough. That's a good enough guess. That flag chain, that flag did everything. Again, I didn't know what flag is it. I'm terrible with flags, but I know there was an Australian flag. So it's either Lithuania, Russia, or something like that. I'm very familiar with it. It's not Poland. It might be Lithuania. I'm like quite certain about it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it might be also Ukraine, but I was born and raised in Lithuania and it kind of... 
It, it looks too Lithuanian, so it can't be Lithuania. Yep, it's not. So it's in Russian. It's not in Ukrainian, it is in Russian. But, yeah, Lithuania is kind of similar-ish to where I grew up, except it's not really like that, so that's why I said that it's, it's not that. I don't know, let's go here. I don't even know where we can go. Wow, I'm on the last spot. Wow, it's probably somewhere there then. Can't change my guess. It was somewhere in Russia. All the way there, yikes! Yikes, would have never guessed it. Would have never guessed it that it's that deep. That it is that deep. Well, in any case, ladies and gentlemen, time for us to wrap it up. We... I mean, I did my best. But yeah. So, thanks for joining. Uh, see you tomorrow with another video. I'm not sure what it'll be, but I will see. So, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow with another video. After tomorrow, there might be another live stream. And yeah, there will also be a dawn. More other things. So, let's buckle up, buckaroos. And see you later, everyone. Shout out to all of you. And see you later, buckaroos. Buckle up, buckaroos. And see you later. Take care, peeps. Take care, take care.